welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the ax minus e to the bx over e to the cx minus e to the hx dx is equal to 1 over c minus h times digamma of c minus b c minus h minus digamma of c minus a c minus h okay i got it this question uh, by a research paper okay how to begin well, first, I'm going to check uh, the definition of gamma function. We can write gamma function uh, as an integral gamma of c is equal to 0 to infinity e to the minus x over x minus e to the minus c times x over 1 minus e to the minus x dx. Okay, then I'm going to take a substitution. So if we take e to the minus x is equal to t, then uh, differentiate. So dt is equal to minus e to the minus x dx. And if we take natural log both sides, we can write minus x is equal to natural log of t. Then we can plug in here. Now uh, limit when x approaches to 0, we know uh, t approaches to 1 and upper limit 0 e to the minus x so you know t over x is equal to minus natural log of t minus e to the minus x you know t so t to the c over 1 minus e to the minus x is equal to t here dx sorry here uh, dx is equal to sorry here dx is equal to 1 over uh, e to the minus x t so minus 1 over t dt okay then um, we can change the limit from 0 to 1 when we change the limit this minus get cancelled and here if we multiply by 1 over t this t get cancelled and here we will have t to the c minus 1 so we can write here uh, also here minus sign so we can take minus sign as a common factor so here 1 over natural log of t plus now t to the c minus 1 over 1 minus t t t okay this is an interesting fact so we can write now minus digamma of c is equal to integral from 0 to 1 1 over natural log of t plus t to the c minus 1 over 1 minus t t t okay very nice fact okay then uh, i am going to define an integral so if we take uh, i integral i is equal to 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 minus x to the n minus 1 over uh, 1 minus x here dx okay now we can divide it by 1 minus x so here now 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 over 1 minus x minus x to the n minus 1 over 1 minus x dx okay then uh, next step uh, i is equal to now uh, i is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 here x to the m minus 1 over 1 minus x so now i am going to uh, make this type uh, trying to make this type of integral so here i am going to add uh, 1 over natural log of x so here 1 over natural log of x plus x to the m minus 1 over uh, 1 minus x then here we add 1 over natural log of x so subtract uh, 1 over natural log of x here now minus x to the n minus 1 so here plus x to the n minus 1 over 1 minus x dx okay then now we know uh, this part is equal to minus digamma of here according to this formula minus digamma of m and here minus digamma of n and here minus so plus digamma of n 
therefore i is equal to diagamma of n minus diagamma of m okay this is another interesting fact then i am going to take again our integral i so you know i is equal to uh, integral from 0 to 1 x to the m minus 1 minus x to the n minus 1 over 1 minus x dx okay then i am going to take a substitution so if we take x is equal to e to the minus t now differentiate dx is equal to minus e to the minus t dt and now we can plug in here we can substitute now limit uh, 0 to 1 so after substitution we know limit is equal to infinity to 0 now x to the x is equal e to the minus t so we can write here e to the minus t m minus 1 minus x to the minus t n minus 1 over 1 minus x is equal to e to the minus t then dx is equal to uh, e to the minus t dt here so minus e to the minus t t t then we can change the limit uh, when we change the limit upper limit and lower limit we know this minus get cancelled and now if we can multiply by e to the minus t and here e to the plus t get cancelled so we will have e to the minus t m minus uh, sorry here e e to the minus t n over 1 minus e to the minus t d t and also we know this integral is also equal to uh, i i we know diagram of n minus diagram of m okay this is another uh, interesting formula interesting integral and then i'm going to take our main question okay now our question is 0 to infinity uh, e to the ax minus e to the bx over e to the cx minus e to the hx dx okay now um, i'm going to try um, i'm going to try to make uh, this type of integral so here we have one so if we take uh, so therefore we can divide it by uh, e to the cx so if we divide it by e to the cx we will have here e to the uh, x a minus c minus here e to the x b minus c over here now 1 minus e to the x uh, h minus c t x okay then we know here we have minus sign minus t n minus t n so now i am going to take a minus sign as a factor so here e to the now minus c minus a times x minus e to the minus c minus b times x over 1 minus e to the minus c minus h times x d x okay now i am going to take a substitution so if we take um, c minus h times x is equal to t now differentiate so c minus h dx is equal to dt now we can plug in here now 0 to infinity here e to the now x is equal to t over c minus h x is equal to t over c minus h so here minus c minus a over c minus h now t minus e to the minus c minus b over c minus h here t over 1 minus now here 
e to the uh, c minus hx we know e to the t here because here also e to the minus t here d t okay now our integral like uh, this integral so we can write now uh, if we have this type of integral we know the answer is uh, di gamma of n minus di gamma of m therefore here we will have di gamma of uh, sorry here uh, that is a mistake here dt dx is equal to 1 over c minus h uh, dt so c minus h is a constant so 1 over c minus h and now this integral is equal to we know di gamma of n minus di gamma of m instead of n we can plug in c minus a over c minus h therefore here now we have di gamma of uh, c minus sorry now n so n here c minus b over c minus h minus di gamma of uh, c minus a over c minus h okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching